Hello and welcome to Music Monday with CCSS. I'll be your host, Mr. Cools, and our first guest will be Mr. Cools. So, for my first question, tell me a little about your experience with music education and why it's been important to you. Well, for me, it started back in grade seven. I got to pick my first musical instrument. Um, and I was sitting there in grade seven, looking at all the posters on the wall, and I was thinking, okay, well, I, I, everyone's gonna pick a trumpet, and uh, I don't know if I, my social status can handle being called a tromboner, um, but uh, there's that funny one. Right up there, it's uh, you, you up on, I'm gonna write that one down. And so, went to the teacher, and the teacher was like, oh my goodness, that's wonderful. Like, okay, uh, how do you say it? That, and then I realized how big it was, and I wasn't as big as I am today. It was, it was a little bit heavy to carry, but uh, I stayed with it. I enjoyed it. Um, and I think that's what really sparked my love of music education, that I was able to um, you know, create something that was not there before, and especially for when we you know, worked with band create something that was together bigger than something I could create myself. Um, those early teachers and all through high school, they inspired me to go on, that I could do what they did for li my living. I could come to work every day and I could play and I could s inspire others to play. Um, and that's really why I became a music teacher because it's, it just spoke to me. And I went on, I, all through university, I played the euphonium still, um, and had a blast. Uh, recently got to play again for my, um, my professor. She retired from Laurier, and uh, she got all the alumni together, and we had a big concert, and it was really, really enjoyable because I, I could see all the people who had gone through different stages in their life and how much music education was important to them and throughout their varied careers, it, it came back to enjoying music. And that's, that's my experience with music education that I, I keep coming back to it because it's, it's just a blast. Well, thank you very much. My second question, what was your favorite musical experience? Probably my favorite live musical experience was when I got to see ACDC. Um, it was at the Rogers Center, the Sky Dome, and it was a sea of people. It was so visceral. Everyone uh, singing the words together with the band, and yet still the band being louder than, than everyone in the entire stadium. Um, being able to be part of something that there was that many people was just uh, it, uh, amazing. Um, fortunately, I've been a part of many live situations myself. Um, every time I bring a band to to play, it is it's amazing, and um, I just I I'm glad that music is getting back to being live. For too long, we were doing these streaming shows, and hey, we got pretty good at it. Um, but we were able to get into doing live stuff, and now we can do a combination of both. So hopefully, you'll uh, enjoy the rest of this show. Um, I'm gonna do my best. All right, my, time for my favorite question. What is your favorite musical joke? My favorite musical joke. Well, <laughs> you know what it is, of course. so I should tell them. Are you ready for this? Is the only good musical joke out there, and it takes a little bit to get it, but uh, hopefully we can get it in editing. Here we go. Two drums and a cymbal fall off a cliff. Yep. Yep, that's it. It's as good as it gets. <laughs> um, one of the themes of Music Monday this year is music is our medicine. What kind of music is your medicine? Music is my medicine in so many ways. When I can't sleep, I take out a playlist that has um, just piano music. Nothing else, it's just, um, you know, Bach interventions or just some Chopin, something that is 
um, going to go on and develop and so that my brain can stop thinking. That's the problem when, you know, I try to get to sleep, it's just going, going, what about this, what about that, but with just piano music, it keeps my brain thinking. But thinking about the line and the notes and the relationship, so stuff I've been trying to do forever, but it lets me quiet the rest of my thoughts. And it lets me think about, well, nothing really, but it lets me sleep. It me lets me focus. And whether I'm studying, um, I'll often throw on some lo-fi hip-hop, um, or if I'm trying to enhance a D&D &D game, I'll throw in some, some Mahler, something epic to, to heighten the experience. Um, or music from my childhood. I'll throw in some classic rock. I'll throw in um, some Eminem. I'll throw in some new music, too. It's awesome to just sit and listen to new stuff and um, explore. All right, well, I've got to know. What instruments have you played or, or still play, and uh, which is your favorite? Being a music teacher, I've got to know all the instruments, at least to a certain extent. Um, I really enjoy the euphonium. It was my first instrument, and I enjoy playing it to this day. But, uh, I'm not gonna lie, playing the guitar is kind of fantastic. Uh, you've got harmony and melody, and you can sing while you're uh, doing it, and it really brings people together. But then again, it's also pretty cathartic to play the drums, nice and loud, and bash, and be heard, and keep people in time. Uh, in terms of instruments that I want to know more, well, I'm not very good at the oboe or the bassoon, so those would probably be one of those ones that I need to really to work on a bit. Um, fortunately, not popular instruments, so, uh, you know, I've got time. Well, there you have it. Um, last question. Why do you think music is important to our school, our community, and Canadian culture? I think music is important for school because it's a lifeblood. That we hear music all over, that we hear it on the radio, that we hear it on TV and movies, and there's really not much chance to be able to try it. Some of that low-risk opportunity to really give it a go, and with very low possibility of actual failure, we're going to fail over and over. We're going to fail. That's just that's just going to happen. But if we learn something, then we'll actually have an opportunity to grow. In our community, it needs to become even more important that we need these opportunities like the Clarington Concert Band and, um, you know, places to play. And of course, Canada's musical culture is hugely influenced by music, whether it's an East Coast Kitchen Cayley or a French-Canadian folk song. Uh, music is so important in Canadian culture and it will continue to be important, with musicians coming out of the woodwork to become heard, telling stories about ourselves, about our community, about our culture. I think it's going to be heard. Our voices are going to be heard. You know, like, like singing. Well, I think that's all the time we have. Join us next time, we have another host, not another host. Join us next time, we have another guest. Now, back to the music.
Hello and welcome back to Music Monday with CCSS. I'll be your host, Mr. Cools, and our next guest, Mr. Garrison. How are you doing? Mr. Cools? Um, I'm fine, actually. Well, that's good. Thanks for asking. It is a fine day of being Music Monday. Um, I want to start off with uh, knowing a little bit about your musical experience and your music education. Right. Um, actually, it goes way back to high school. Um, actually, I, way back to grade seven, probably, where I had this, I'll never forget his name, uh, Mr. Watson. He was a fine man who had so much passion in music and introduced all kinds of genres to us, even in grade seven. And he had a, he had a set of vinyl in our classroom and we'd spend as much time as possible throughout the, the music period playing records, trying new instruments, things like that. And I think that really was probably my first educational experience when it comes to music. Awesome. Yeah. Nice to know. Yeah, it's great. Um, it's not just the music we, we learn in school, but um, when we get to that live situation, I, I, you got to have some good stories about live music. I have great stories about live music. Some I will pass on sharing with you here on this forum. Uh, but I guess when I was 14 years old, I, I went to Young Street in Toronto and lined up overnight to to get tickets to see my favorite band at the time rush and uh ended up getting seventh row center made my way up to uh the front row to see these guys and you know that, that's the stuff i grew up on that prog rock canadian stuff amongst other things and uh it was at maple leaf gardens and i remember looking back and when they when they they put the house lights on and and just to see you know 17,000 people Kind of in the same, same atmosphere, the same feeling. Pretty special. I have many more, but no time to share all of them. But thank you. Great question. Now, music isn't always just serious. We, we've got to have fun with it. Um, and you know, I've been asking people what their favorite musical joke is. Do you have a favorite? Favorite musical joke? Can I refer to my notes for this one? Indeed. Get it? Notes? <laughs> That's my joke. Anyway. So one of the themes for Music Monday this year is music is our medicine. What kind of music is your medicine? Well, as I talked about my earlier days with Rush, the prog rock type genre, I like all kinds of music from classical uh, to uh, grunge, uh, heavy metal I've been known to listen to a few times, uh, folk, I love it all, you know, and, and I, you know, I'm lucky to be a part of, of many bands over the years and just writing uh, my own music or being a part of, of writing with a team has been, you know, medicine in so many ways. Um, what musical instruments have you played, you still play, and maybe is there one that you want to learn? Yeah, I, uh, I'm going to stay away from the bass, uh, but I, I... We've already got our basses covered. You're, you're, yeah. Is that a joke? No. Uh, I guess I, I've been a lead singer in many bands. Uh, I love to sing. Uh, I play guitar. First instrument was drums. I still love to play the drums. This guy lets me sneak in every once in a while to the room, and I'm, you know, feeling some pressure or some stress. I can just smash the, the toms or whatnot, the snare or what have you. Um, I'd like to learn how to play piano well. I think that's probably what I like to, to play. Yeah, most I. Of I can definitely fake it. Oh, fake it's great. Yeah, yeah, but you know, being able to really, uh, really speak yeah. the piano is hard. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be wonderful to, to be able to do that. Yeah. Why do you think music is important in our school, community, and Canadian culture? That's a great question. First and foremost, I just really believe that music can be such a, an outlet for stress relief, um, collaboration, cooperation, relationships, bonding, all that kind of stuff that really helps us get through our day. Uh, we all know what the atmosphere can be like in a, in a school community. There's a lot of stress, a lot of pressures. So I think that if we can kind of relieve uh, those pressures with, with music, that's probably number one for me, actually. 
one of my favorite things too. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for coming on and doing this interview. That was amazing. Thanks for doing this. Uh, I'm I'm glad to do it each time and uh, glad to hear this next act. I hope you do too.
with CCSS. I will be your host, Mr. Cools, and uh, our guest today will be Mr. Howard. Welcome, Mr. Howard. Thank you so much for having me here today. Appreciate you being on there. Um, first of all, tell me a little bit about your experience with music education and why it's important to you. Uh, I love this question because I don't know if people know this, but I'm a bit of a musician myself. Um, but I remember one name from my elementary school, Mrs. Graskoff. She's my grade one through grade four music teacher. She had a real love for the piano. Uh, it actually got me into piano lessons, which I was dreadful at. But you know what? It inspired me to start to try and learn a bit more. Uh, it got me actually jumping in, understanding that I could be the one making music. And I think it opened up a, a new part of my brain. So I switched over to guitar, like to pretend I mastered that. Then I switched over to uh, back to piano, and now I do both. I love it. So um, I think music is paramount for us to actually start to understand who we are as people, and really plays a pivotal role on our enjoyment of school to begin with. Mr. Howard and some self-discovery. Um, speaking of discovery, what about live music? What was your most fantastic live music experience? Well, I think uh, as I made mentioned to you in in passing in the past uh, I was able to see Paul McCartney I'm a, the Beatles have been my favorite band since age of eight and I was fortunate enough to see Paul McCartney play on the Plains of Abraham in Quebec City with 250,000 other of my closest friends and then I also had a wonderful experience I was dating my now wife and we got to see Arcade Fire play at Oshiega in Montreal and just they're finishing up Laurent had their uh, their fireworks going off so as they're playing I think the song was ready to start there's fireworks going off and look I got my, my best lady at my side and just brought the world together you know that's that's really cool yeah very yeah, cool very cool um music isn't always serious sometimes there's some joking going on uh, do you have a favorite musical joke uh my favorite musical joke is actually me trying to play the violin yeah yeah it's a hard instrument, I, I must say. It Begin is. Beginning violin. And you know, the worst thing to do is try and play with your teeth. So, <laughs> never no works out energy. well. No, never no, works no, out well. Never. Um, one of the themes of Music Monday this year is music is our medicine. What kind of music is your medicine? It's a great question. And I really think it depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Like if I'm feeling a little sad, you know, work's been a little tough. What I really like to do is put on some introspective music. Uh, so that could be someone like a Brian Eno, where it's just nice musical ambiance, you know, get some really good thought-provoking tunes on the background. But also, I like a good storytelling. And uh, John Prine, who many people don't know, including myself, until he died from COVID, yeah, uh, takes you on a real musical journey and really allows you to be transported somewhere else. Yeah. Absolutely. 
Um, so you mentioned you uh, played some piano, some guitar. If you had the opportunity to learn a new instrument, what instrument would you choose? Uh, I would love to say drums, but the issue with drums is you have to be able to keep time, and something I'm not really great at. So I think uh, a direction I'd really like to go is to master the bass. Um, I think by mastering the bass that, you know, there's some really good uh, depth and complexity that hides behind what might be your very trans or your, your very in-your-face kind of instruments like a guitar and piano. And bass really carries, you know, a nice rhythm to, to any song. So I think bass would definitely be up there. Um, why do you think music is important to our school, community, and Canadian culture? Uh, so I, I think it's something that no matter what your cultural background, uh, where you've come from, where you have been, it is a great music. It's the great unifier. You know, we can look at sports and how that can bring people from different walks of life together. But I think music is one of those things that is worldwide. It's universal, that we all can un under understand or enjoy it to a certain degree. Now, as a Canadian, I think we have produced some of the best bands of all time and some of the most impressive artists. We can look at some older people like Leonard Cohen, uh, Stars, uh, to one of my favorite bands, Arcade Fire, to, you know, what Canada has done to the hip hop world with you know, say a Drake or a Weekend. You know, I think this is the hub of music, us in the UK, and I'm proud to call myself a musical Canadian. Well, thank you very much, Maestro Fresh Howard, um, for coming on, and hopefully we'll hear more of you in the future. I look forward to it. Thank you for having me. Let's go on to the next act.
Hello and welcome back to Music Monday here at CCSS. I will be your host today, Mr. Cools, and with me today, Ms. Perkins. We're going to start off with a couple questions. Well, tell me about your musical experience and why music education is important to you. Okay. How far back do you want me to go? As far as you need to. Okay, so my parents were music lovers. And in our family room, we had the whole record player set up with stacks and stacks of records. And there was always music on in the house. And we would get every new album that came out. We would dance around the living room together. We had those huge headphones that had the long cord. The spirally one. Yeah. And my sister and I would share the pretend microphone. And that's just what I remember doing as a family. It's always nice to have family involved. Yeah, and then I was, uh, I took singing lessons. I sang and my sister played the piano. So we would do uh, little family concerts. And then school musicals, so I was in all of those. Um, and then much music came out. And the music video. And that's, we just played videos all day, Duran Duran, remember? Yep, I do. Uh, I'm aging myself. Um, Michael Jackson. What about live musical experiences? What was your favorite? Um, so, the all day festivals um, got really big around... There was Lilith Fair that came out that was all female artists all day and it'd be multiple days and we would go every year. There was um, there was another all day music festivals that we, so all high school, university, every, every available opportunity. We would go to concerts, we would, like Sarah McLaughlin used to come to the University of Guelph, we went to every concert. Bare Naked Ladies, they were underground, only had cassettes. Yeah, that first cassette. Oh my gosh, we got all the cassettes, <laughs> we played those all the time, and then they would come to all the different campuses, and yeah, Bare Naked Ladies were amazing. Uh, lowest of the Low, all of those underground bands, that was huge. Um, I had friends that played in bands, that we would go to all of their uh, underground concerts. It was, yeah. It's so important to support that local beginning band, because you never know, they might make it big and then you know a famous person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the theme of this year's uh, Music Monday is Music is Our Medicine. It's a really powerful um, idea. What music is your medicine? So I have a number of playlists that I have prepared for whatever uh, I need. So I have my, my mellow playlist that when, you know, I'm feeling blue or it's just a sad day or there's stuff going on, that I have a playlist that I go to that just lets me purge those, those emotions. Then I have my running playlist, because for me, my medicine is running, but the music goes with it. So I have a running playlist. If I run by myself, I sing sometimes, which I only do when I'm out on the trail and there's no one around. Um, I have a running playlist that's like fun, depending on my mood. So I have about four or five. My daughter, uh, who's in school in Nova Scotia, we have an Apple account together, so she'll make playlists for me. <laughs> and she'll have her, uh, her sad playlist, her happy playlist, her Friday night playlist, her Sunday morning playlist, and then we share them back and forth. So that's fun too. It's always nice to be able to share that music. Yeah. Um, for you, why is music education important to three things? Our school, our community, and Canadian culture. Canadian culture is huge. Um, 
and traveling, I've had, I've been very lucky that I've had the opportunity to travel from coast to coast and experience the music that is part of the culture out east. So my daughter's in Nova Scotia going to school and uh, the, the culture of that music is, uh, it's just, it's part of who they are. And it, it for me, it, let, it lets me go to a different place. Um, Quebecois music, I love. So depending on sort of my mood and what I need, I'll, I'll put on that music. We have, growing up with parents that loved music, uh, we have like all of the, the country um, that my parents loved, the, the, the blues, Living through Tragically Hip and uh, Gord Downey's death, and I felt like we did that as a country, and that was huge in with my family, with my with my kids, with um, with friends. Uh, his last concert in Kingston, I was in Paris, and we were getting texts from people that were at the concert experiencing that. So it, it, it's global, right? When you Kind of share that they become your family. Uh, in school, what I've seen is that music has been that piece for so many students that gets them through high school. That we we all have different strengths and different outlets and places where we can express ourselves. And with music, uh, for many of us, that is the connection. Uh, for some students, it's it's more physical. They need to be on a sports team and have that physical outlet. And for others, it's, it's music, and it's that connection with, with that part of ourselves. So having access to those courses, to music classes, to be able to express yourself that way, it's, it's, it's part, of, part of school, part of our culture, and it, it, it's needed. Thank you so much for joining Thanks. us today, um, and we'll get some more needed culture in our next act. Stay tuned. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That is all the time we have for our Music Monday celebration. Um, we'll have to check out that staff band another time. Stay tuned for a special presentation later on. Um, thank you very much for joining us for Music Monday. I know music means a lot to me, and hopefully it's meant a lot to you. Um, we'll see you next year. Bye.